Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So this time around, we have another returning Pokemon. And hopefully, if you guys have yet to attain this wonderful, cuddly Chansey, you at least get your chance to bring it to your cafe staff roster now. So yeah, hopefully we are about at the end of all the returning Pokemon events because I'm sure a lot of us really want something new to do soon <laughs> before the game becomes kind of uh, redundant you know because they keep going through repeated events no but at least it gives us a chance to try and um, power up these Pokemon they are returning to maybe their level 2 or level 3 status. Alright, so Chansey, as we know it, um, it's a raid type of event. Basically, you work together with a group of team members and uh, hopefully try and attain Chansey or at least power up Chansey. At least to say, um, at least two of my team members are still active. <laughs> So it's good to see. So as usual, let's start off with the invitational um, stages. Okay, so the refreshing isn't that much of a difference. Oh well. It would have been better to go with Executor though. It's harder to come by. Alright, so we need Meows to power up the skill. Let's try and get rid of all the marshmallows if possible. Okay, there we go. Most of the marshmallows are gone. Alright, let's try to push the pumpkins in. Should we? I'm not going to power up skill, because we technically do need more Quantity then quality. Right, it's gonna be better if we can push all the chestnuts together. Okay, we do need the score, so let's go ahead and get up the majority of the icons. Okay, we have to try and push the pumpkins and the chestnuts as close as possible. So let's try and do that. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. <laughs> it seems we flunked. Okay, we do have the necessary stuff to complete the stage straight away. So I'm just gonna go use the 900 acorns right there. And there we go. <laughs> that was kind of unfortunate, but yeah, I mean, technically, if you know the strategy, just gather all the destructible stuff together, uh, make use of that, you know, range from Meow skill, I think you should be fine. Maybe, maybe powering up Meow skill once would have helped. Oh well, what's done is done. Okay, moving on with Stoutland. Hmm. This looks relatively easy. Okay, so we just need to get lots of Scotland skill going because we need to destroy the coated boxes and egg baskets. So let's try. There we go, let's get a tree lane coverage. Okay. Going with more Scotland. So we need more skills. Gotta stop that. Alright. It's fine. Okay, can we go for a tree lane? Okay. Munch legs. Let's just go around. Go. Make sure we cover as much of the needed stuff. Baskets, 
fruit baskets. Uh, we do need more megaphone summons, so let's get startless skill game. There we go. So actually, we just have to destroy the two megaphones here, and we're done. <laughs> let's not make things unnecessarily too uh, complicated. Alright, so that's the Invitational Party. Pretty simple, just that we had a bit of a hiccup at the first level. That's okay. Alright, let's move along. Snubble. Hmm. Okay, we are definitely going to need Snobble's skill to destroy the chestnuts on the right side. But there doesn't seem to be enough Snobble icons at this point of time. So let's go ahead and try and get rid of the olives first. Because they can be very annoying. Uh, let's try not to coat the baskets or anything. Oh, we got one olive coated. That's really a bummer. It would have been nice if we just destroyed all of them. Okay, let's get the stumbles going, and of course, uh, make sure to cover the strawberry baskets. Alright, let's destroy all the chestnuts here, so that we can get the chestnuts flowing out. There we go. Okay, oh, I didn't get all the baskets covered. Okay, that's my bad. Go. Hmm. Okay, we should power up Snubble's skill one more time. So we can reach the megaphone like this. So it will destroy the strawberry basket as well. Yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> So it was just convenient in my case because the megaphone just happened to be pointing in the right direction and placed in the right place at the right time. It's a lot of rights in one phrase. <laughs> okay, moving along. Uh, we're gonna need Togepi to satisfy all Dino's cravings in the cafe. Ooh, Piplups. Two combos of 30 links. Hmm. Okay, so let's get a Toga piece first, since uh, his skill does transform icons. Um, we do need to technically burst these bubblegum stuff. Okay, so oh, it wasn't much of a difference. Okay. Let's see if we can push this out. There we go. So we can get kind of a bigger coverage, I guess. Eh. That's just horrible. Okay. So the sugar cube is kind of in the way. So we, we definitely need to destroy it. Hmm. Let's see, let's make use of this. Destroy the whipped cream and hopefully transform some of the icons. Let's get rid of the sugar cube and the whipped cream as well. There we go, we've got quite a bit of pip flops going. Alright, let's try to get rid of some of the whipped creams. Okay, we have technically. Yeah, there we go. We're done. So we managed to push the whipped creams together, so that was the key point. If not, we have probably wasted all the moves. Ooh, friendship bonus, which is exactly what we need for a raid event. More stars, more progression. It's, it's really nice to be back to playing Pokemon Cafe Mix. Really need games like this to just relax and pass the time. You know. 
Puzzle games are always fun in its own way. Okay, let's get some of the Starly icons going. Make sure we destroy a bit of the... Uh, may on bubbles. Do we take more room as well? Oh, that was pretty nicely done. Got some bubble sauce. Let's go with bubble. Okay. We don't really have to worry about the caramels for now. Main thing is I think the chocolates, because they are kind of taking up space and we want more room for um, Pokemon icons. So yeah. We'll eventually destroy Caramels along the way. There we go. Okay. Strangely enough, we managed to cover three destructible items. As compared to the right side earlier. Okay, so we do need score still. So let's go ahead and get up more icons. Um, then we can show them. We cover a bit of the destructible items as well. Hmm. Okay, we do need to destroy this. We need megaphones to be destroyed as well. Let's do this. Yeah, Starling's power up skill is exactly what we need to clear the level. There we go. Yeah, getting close to that level 2. That's level 3. Nice. Alright, moving along. Ooh. Seems like we are in a bit of a pickle. Okay, so most of the pickle jars on the left side are lit up. Okay, let's gather more icons and just destroy the pickles on the... Oh man. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's get rid of pumpkins first. Set free the egg baskets as well, because we need... Oh no, one of the pumpkins escaped. Oh well. Let's destroy these pumpkins first. More skill icons. Let's not the eggs. Still quite a bit of them. Okay, can we get rid of the pumpkin? Wow. No, we missed. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and gather more eggs. Alright, so where is the pumpkin now? Okay. So the pumpkin is here, exactly where the baskets are, which is what we need to clear the level. So yeah, managed to finish the level with still one move remaining. Could have done way better, but that's fine. Okay, presents from Scotland. Alright. It's you. Is Pichu? No wait, Plusle. <laughs> All the tiny Pika families are like so similar. Okay. Uh, Squirtle. Let's get rid of the blues first. Okay, Chinos. What? Still not enough to produce a. Uh, okay. It's really strange. Here we go. Alright, let's get Plusso's skill to power up because I think that's all we need to get rid of the tomato bubbles. Or at least a majority of them. Hmm. Okay, do not forget about the leaf. Push it down. So, uh, come on. 
Let's push it down again. There we go. So the tomato bottles are done. There you go. Just have to shift away the blossom icon. So we ended up using every single move. Yeah, Chen C is at level 2. Oh, friendship bonus again. Wow. Talk about being lucky. Okay. But sadly to say it's a single star challenge. Alright, let's pick up the rewards first. Go. Okay. Yeah, single star challenge. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. At least we're getting more out of, you know, a regular stage. Okay, Charmanders. Gotta destroy as many ice cubes as possible. The, the main thing is we really need to destroy all the destructibles um, as soon as we can because it's just going to be annoying with all the olives. This is really a troublesome level. Let's get rid of the popcorn kernels that are red. Okay, I think we can do this now. Okay, that did most of the work, which is great. Alright, we uncoated all the olives, so let's go ahead and try and destroy them now. Almost destroyed them. Alright, we do need megaphones to help us out. Fantastic. Alright, let's get another Audino skill going. Hopefully this does the job. Just need another seven megaphones. There we go. More than plenty. That was actually a pretty fun level. It's always nice to see a chaotic mess of destruction <laughs> by megaphones. Very soothing. Alright. My Numston. Hmm. Okay. I apologize for the siren going around in the neighborhood. <laughs> Hopefully, that's not an ambulance siren. If it is, I hope whoever's in need of it is fine. Get out of pink fuzzies. Oh, suddenly activated the skill. That's okay. At least it got rid of the strawberry basket. Gives us a bit more room to work with. Oh, I didn't realize we needed to uh, clear the west icons. Right, so let's get rid of all the stoutlands, because that's not the icons we need. Okay, let's get rid of the last honey and change some of the icons to the beware icons that we need. That's a whole bunch. Oh, more than we need. We only needed six. <laughs> let's get rid of them. There we go, 57 of them. So far the levels have been pretty relaxing, not too difficult, and still pretty fun to play because it's just nice when things come together, you know, strategies, of course how the stage is designed.
100,000 score. Ooh, the tomatoes are going to be a problem. Hmm. Okay. So we do need... Okay, let's get gather all the executors first. Oh, that one single icon. Uh. Alright, so we do need to break through here. Here we go. Yeah, let's get the tomatoes dropping in. Okay. We do need to destroy the sugar cubes. That's really annoying. Okay, we can get rid of these. Tomato to go down. Come on, tomato. Right, let's destroy the cans. Hmm. Tomato, we need you to move down. Push it in. There we go. Can we get you down? Oh boy. Shift it. Yeah, there we go. We used up all the moves. Luckily, we didn't have to go any further than that. Whew. That was a tad bit stressful. <laughs> hmm. Jigglypuff. Okay, we don't have a lot of space, so let's go ahead and destroy as many of the littered up marshmallows as possible. Because we need the room. Go. Chocolates are a bit of a problem though. I think most of the marshmallows are done. Uh, there we go, we can cover the majority of the chocolates here. Let's get a more jiggly puffs so we can get more skill icons to help us out. Oh, stomach is growling. Oh god, so hungry. Haven't had breakfast. Okay. Uh, let's see. And we can reach two of the chocolate pieces. Okay, so all we need to clear the level is here. Let's use the skills. And we are done. So a pretty tight level, but not too difficult. That looks really good. Uh, this game is not helping my hunger. Definitely need to go find food after this. Alright, we are on the last level for the day. Let's take a look at the gifts that we'll never use. Yeah, apparently, this game is you know, enjoyable without the need of using items. Oh, good luck. My dear boy, faster get your stars going. I want you in my cafe. Alright, let's go Eevees. Since they are all here on the caramel side, let's just destroy a whole bunch of them. Okay, we do need to be wary of the vegetables and the eggs requirement. Okay, let's get the elves. Here we go. Okay, let's get the vegetables first. Eevees. Okay. Vegetables as well. Let's get the Wapa Fats to get the eggs. Okay. I think we are doing okay. So the eggs are done. The vegetables will be done as well. So yeah, 
As long as you get things, you know, covered while going through with the icons, I think you should be fine. So not too difficult of a level. So you say we didn't get a friendship bonus. You know, it'd be nice to get those extra stars and of course get my boy Piplop to join us faster. So anyway guys, that's it for today. Um, if you guys have yet to get Chansey, I, I hope you guys um, do your best with whichever amount of active players that are currently in your team. Um, and you know, those of you who are still playing, you know, band together. Join a team that is most active to try and help you to get Chansey if you have yet to have the um, adorable cute pink egg Pokemon to join your cafe. Or if you are trying to power up Chansey, you know, being an active team, of of course, will help you out as well to power up Chansey. So, yeah, very close to you know new orders. So, I thought we'd be lagging behind by quite a bit, but apparently not. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. If you guys are still enjoying the game like I do, it's always nice to have something relaxing to play. You know, to keep your mind off uh, other things that needs to be done for a while. You know, you can't procrastinate forever. You know, just enjoy the time with the lovable cute Pokemon and of course the delightful music. You know, it might just put you to sleep, which is maybe what you might actually need more. <laughs> like myself, I definitely need more sleep. So anyway guys, I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye!